What's up YouTube, it's me Chris and I've got another great video for you. As you can see, we are on the shag carpet today. We got another a new location for you. And I just wanted to talk about use and philosophy for these portable speakers that a lot of people have coming out. And I haven't done this video and I've kind of kept quiet on the, on the topic up until now because I really feel like it's time to uh, weigh in. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Alright guys, so as you can see, we've got two of the main speakers that people think about purchasing when they go for one of these portable speakers, uh, Bluetooth speakers that are out on the market right now. You've got the Beats Peel XL and you've got the Beats Peel. Um, there's also a lot of other great offerings out there from JBL and Logitech. I'll put some on the screen now just to kind of show you guys that there are other offerings. But these by far are two of the more popular and a lot of it is due to marketing. Um, a lot of people like Beats. They have their over-the-ear headphones. They have their earbuds. They have the power beats. So when they go to buy a portable Bluetooth speaker, they just say, why not? And go ahead and purchase the brand that they already kind of know and kind of trust. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I think both of these are well-built products. They have pretty good construction. But I wanted to ask you guys a question. And it was an interesting one because I personally am at a crossroads as to whether I should get a Bluetooth speaker because I would love to have one um, and I'll tell you guys why here in a second uh, but I don't want to pay the money and I want to be honest with myself and decide if I really want to use it so I've got my wife's uh, Nicki Minaj version uh, the newest version Beats Peel on the table and one of my good friends uh, Cadillac brought over his XL for us to look at that's also the, la the latest version of that and I want to look at them talk to you about them, tell you what I think, tell you uh, which way I'm ultimately probably going to lean, and I want to get some feedback from you guys as to which way I should go. Let's talk about who should buy a portable Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I think these days there's a lot of uses for them if you entertain a lot definitely if you hang out a lot like at beaches or in hangout spots or you have a lot of people over I think it's easy to have um, these Bluetooth speakers have really replaced in a lot of ways what the old stereos used to be I know back in my day when people used to have people over to have you know records on or tapes or even CDs on the large living room kind of stereo system I'll put a picture up of that so you guys can see it but people People used to use that and it was kind of just that ambiance that was in the background people might dance they might get apart and it was just you know to kind of keep the vibe keep the mood going and these have really replaced that with great portability and I will tell you over the holidays my wife used the crap out of this one uh, we went to a couple people's houses for Christmas and stuff it works well and the range is awesome uh, with a smartphone you can just basically be a DJ from across the room control volume you know a lot of different things and it makes it very flexible and very good uh, in that respect. But again, who should buy this? I mean, if you're not doing that kind of stuff, if you've got a smartphone, you've got a music library, if you already have earbuds, you can just throw those in. If you have over-the-ear earphones, you can just throw those in. Um, you know, same with your computer. If you're not in a, in a space where you want music to be broadcast, maybe, this may not be for you. You know, that's question number two on my list. Um, who is this for? when you really break down a larger Bluetooth speaker versus a smaller, more compact one. It depends. I mean, I'm a go big or go home kind of guy, frankly, and I believe in getting the most for my money. So right off the bat, if I didn't do any research and I just had to pick between the two, I and I bet most of you would say I'm going to go with the larger one. There's just no, no contest. Listen to the sound of them. This is the little one. Pretty good, pretty clear. Listen to this big boy. Both pretty cool. And again, there are other options out there. So don't rag on me and say I'm only doing a Beats video because I'm a Beats fan, boy. I do like some of their products, but I think that there are better options. My purpose for this video, just like the purpose for the Electronic Truth TV channel, is trying to help you spend your money more wisely based on the products that are out there, point blank, period. Uh, I understand the struggle with money and I want to make sure you get the best bang for your buck. That's why I felt like this was a good time to talk about about this because it'll be getting warmer soon uh, you know I'm in Georgia you guys know that but it's already January 
around here right about March it starts to warm up pretty good and people are gonna be out People are going to be going to the beach, spring break will start rolling around, and you're going to be wanting to get some sort of music solution to take out, especially if you're at the beach, especially if you're at the lake, especially if you're out chilling. I got a lake right behind me. So if you're somewhere where you want music to be playing worry-free and you want to be able to have control, a Bluetooth speaker is probably for you. Uh, when it comes to ergonomics, got to talk about that hands down the smaller one wins it feels good in your hand you can you know you can use it as a weapon if you needed to probably bust them out in the head it's just really nice fit and finish um, has the Beats Peel logo on it just looks really good you see four speakers pointed right at you ergonomics they hit the nail on the head this is very very nice very lightweight I personally would go for the fit and finish of the XL, but I will tell you before you start deciding to, ha to handle this guy you need to eat your Wheaties because it's quite a bit heavier comes with the handle so you can beat the hell out of somebody with this one jukebox style just smash their face in nice fit and finish you can see you've got two larger speakers you can see one there one there and if you look you can kind of make out there's a smaller one on either side this guy really puts out nice fit and finish still very tactile i i really 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 like it at my new job it's quiet all the time it's literally like all day long no tv no nothing unless i make it myself i have to stream pandora and stuff to kind of keep myself busy whereas i come from a background where there were always tvs going and things like that a lot of noise so it's kind of eerie and weird to not have any sound and a lot of times I'm the only person in my office because other people are out on assignments and doing things. So this for me really works at my office. I can have some nice music going, still be doing my tasks, have it going in the background and when nobody's there I can really crank it up and get really loud. That being said, do I ever picture myself and this is where you have to be honest with yourself in a situation where I would need the big guy. Do I want the big guy? Do I need the big guy? Those are two separate questions. And that brings me to my decision. If I were going to get one of these and I'm gonna be getting one and I'll let you guys know which, which version I get. I think I'm leaning towards the Logitech but I'll let you guys know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna roll with the normal size speaker because my office is a small space. Not even, uh, I don't know how many square foot it is but it's small. My, my home is pretty small and this guy puts out, I have to close the door because my wife blasts it all over the house. No problems. Great, great device for my usage. Guess what, when I'm at the beach or somewhere in my small circle, it's probably going to be maximum 10 people in a small area. So not everybody wants to hear my music and maybe necessarily needs to. So this will work well for me. And at the price points. I'm comfortable saving the $100 difference or $150 difference depending on brands and variations that it would cost for me to upgrade because I would be paying for more than I need. And that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I mean, you're talking realistically $199, $299 on these models. You can get them much cheaper on Amazon. You can get them secondhand. You can get them at pawn shops. I mean, there are other options. You can get them at Verizon's and places like that. You know, if you if you don't want to fork out all that money right out right out the gate, there are options. But let me know what your opinion is on this let me know which uh, portable Bluetooth speaker I should get let me know why and let me know if you own one of these and what your experience has been once I do get my portable speaker will probably live at my office frankly because I've got one at home and I don't want to duplicate services and unless we're going to the beach that's where to live it's been your boy Chris shout out to Cadillac for bringing this through so we can talk about it shout out to my wife who don't even know I'm using this because she at work see you guys in the next video I'm out of here Peace.